All right, guys and girls. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Behind me, I got a 2003 Ford Explorer. And what we're gonna do, which means we, me and Sylvie, or Sivy, or Sylvia, we're gonna show you how to replace the rear calipers, rear brake calipers, and the rear brake rotors. All right, coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. All right, guys, first things first, safety. Got the back of the vehicle jacked up, and I got my jack stands up under it. Do not attempt to do any kind of job without jack stands if you got that car jacked up. All right, let's get to it. The tires are held up by five uh, lug nuts. They are 19 millimeter or three quarter. Definitely use the 19 millimeter. All right, so we got a 19 millimeter deep, half inch drive impact socket. Let's go ahead and take off both tires. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we do, get you a little drain pan. Stick it up under this wheel right here. Put it up under there and leave it for the remainder of the job. <laughs> All right, next thing we do, get you some hose crimpers that will cut off the circulation to the hoses. These are used just like in an operation when they're working on your heart or something. They need to cut off a valve. They put it right there, squeeze it, and leave it just like that. All right. So, here's your brake hose. How do you know that? I cuz I'm on I went to medical school. Mm -hmm. I watched too much TV. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, here's the the uh, rubber part of your hose. What you want to do is take your hose cut off hose pliers, put it right there and squeeze it. Now, if you use if you don't have these and you have a pair of vice grips or something, what you want to do is use needle nose vice grips. Take Take about four inch, four inch, uh, two four inch three eighths hoses, put them on each of your, uh, the points, each of the uh, points of the, the vice grip, put it up there and use that to squeeze the hose. Don't use the vice grip itself by itself because it can damage the hose internally. All right, the next thing you want to do, what we got here, take your 14 millimeter shallow socket three eighths drive with your three eighths drive ratchet. And right behind here, you got your line going down, and right here, there's a bolt. Make sure your pan is up under there. Put that on there, and loosen that up. And as you loosen that up and take that off, there's going to be fluid coming out of there. That's why we got the pan down there. So, let's take that off. And when you take that off, there's going to be two washers. Those washers are not washers. They are gaskets. They stop the fluid from coming out. Let me just show you real quick. All right, we unbolt. As a matter of fact, you can see one right there that I just moved. You can see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one. And then there's going to be one on the inside. Okay, it didn't. There it is right there. One on the inside. So you want to take that one off. Take your bolt out. So you can keep that to the side. And come out here and here they are right here again these are gaskets make sure you put them back and if you lose them do not use no regular washers because then they won't work all right let's put this down and we'll be right back all right guys the next thing you'll do is grab your big bill ratchet yeah buddy <laughs> and you want to make sure you get to a 10 millimeter 3 8 drive socket shallow and what we got on the caliper to take this caliper off we got two 10 millimeter bolts right there all right, so let's put our big bill ratchet in, break it loose, take that one out, then go to the top one. Now, when you do the top one, loosen it up, stop, because you, you don't want your ratchet to hit up against the spring. So then you just do that one by hand. All right, let's see, can we do the bottom one? All right, let's take these two bolts out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, next thing you do, grab you a big screwdriver, and I got my Milwaukee pry bar that Civi got me for Christmas. Check that out, guys. It's, it's get, it was nice and clean when I first got it. Dang it, now it looks a little dirty. Tell it to get me another one. Take it back. All right, what you want to do is take the, put the pry bar or the screwdriver right between the caliper bracket and the caliper. Right between here. Right there. Pop that caliper out. These calipers are frozen. This is why I'm having a hard time taking this off right now. Pop that caliper off. 
bam. Now if you want, you can take, just make sure it's drained out from the hole you put right, the, uh, the bolt you took out. Okay, it's good. All right, let's get a, let's get our uh, new caliper and a rotor. This rotor shouldn't, okay, we're gonna take this off. Take this rotor. This rotor is going to be difficult to come off because you can see around here. I mean, it's got a lot of rust and stuff up there. So we're going to have to pretty much go back here from a hammer and bang this off. But before we do that, we want to make sure we got the right parts because we bang this up and mess it up, then ain't nothing we can do after that. So let's get the new parts and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we took the rotors out. These rotors look different, and the customer got them from eBay. Why is this for? I have no idea, but we can tell by the part numbers here 54114 and down here. Can really oh, can't it. really see it. See the one four. All right, anyway, we got four of them that's got it's got the part numbers on both of them the same, and these rotors are different. I'm looking at this ledge right here. Let's go over here, match it up. It's funny guys, we just did a video. I just did a video on customer getting the wrong parts. Luckily, this is what I mean. This is one of our good customers. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do here. And if I put this rotor right here to match it with this one, look at it, look at all that space between there. And I'm touching the rotor, the surface over there. So man, yeah, these are the wrong rotors. So you know what? Um we're gonna Yeah, yeah, matter of fact, let's turn right here here a little bit. You can see the part number on there. So we're gonna do do a little research and look up what the heck he got. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Civi so did some research and found out that these rotors are for the uh, the sport track, and that's what happened. He has an Explorer, the Eddie Bauer series, complete different rotors. Also, he's also, got four rotors here, but the front and rear are different. Right, the front. Why he bought four rear ones, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I gotta ask him. But um, we got our we got our other box over here, and I just opened up these for the calipers. Um, looks like this is from a different shipper and all. But let's uh, match up this caliper. And see if it's the same. Let's go over here. Well, I got the other side, but uh, yeah, they look the same. The calipers definitely look the same. So, we get the other side, and I'm going to talk to the customer. Uh, these rotors ain't too bad. These are scarred up inside. Psh, dang it. And, uh, see what he wants to do. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, just spoke to the customer. And, uh, this is the funny part, guys. The customer seen the video we put up yesterday about customers getting the wrong part. So, he asked me, was he a good customer? <laughs> so, so we just had a great laugh about that. And just like, it's cool, because just like I said a few minutes ago in the video, early in the video, this is a good customer, so we can see what we're going to do. All right, so we got, we call Fisher Auto Parts. Yeah, boy. Fisher's going to come down and bring us two brand new rotors, and I guess he's got to ship those back. So, let's pop this off. Now, we got two ways of doing this. One... Get the little baby hammer for you guys out there that don't got too much strength. You get your little baby hammer. You know, like this off. And, and if that don't work, you in a little bit of trouble. Dang it. That ain't gonna work. This has got a ring in my ear. It's time for the Thor's hammer. Yeah, buddy, man. This hammer will do it. So let me get to this side. Look at that Thor's hammer. Knock that off. Whoops. Look at this, guys. Dang it. You man. did that? No, this thing is all messed up. This is the. 
Ah, these are the emergency brakes. These are all messed up. <sighs> Man, you can't. We can't win. All right. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's. Get, we're gonna get official call. See if they have the emergency brakes in stock. We'll be right back. All right, guys, check this out. They didn't have them in stock, so I did the unimaginable. I got some JB Weld, some bonding. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Cause these are bonded up here, and I actually put more bond up there than the original ones have. And I know you're like, I can't believe Tim just did that. So we're gonna bond them back into place. And this is the fast setting one. This is one sets in five minutes. So we're gonna let that set. While we go over here, whoops. And let me show you what I put up here. I'm using the clear weld, JB weld, clear weld, quick setting, epoxy, five minutes. I'm gonna check that out, see if that works. We'll be right back. All right guys, check that out. Look at that thing bonded perfectly. Man, I can't even move it. Dang it, I just invented something new. So, now we just gotta wait for Fisher so we can get our new rotors. We'll be right back. Well, rotor slash drum. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our new rotor. Look at that. Look how that, look how that bonded up there. I know y'all like, yo, he is a genius. All right, before we put our new rotor on, we gotta take off these two clips right here. And what you wanna do, just take your screwdriver and the one on the top, just pop that down. And the one on the bottom, just pop that up. All right, then after that, get you a nice wire brush and you wanna clean, clean that off because you wanna make sure that when we put our new clips in there, there's nothing stopping it from going flush. So let's clean that up, spray it up with a little brake cleaner and we'll be right back. All right, just pull it up, spray all this around here, clean this up. That is a great idea, man. I'm a genius, man. I don't know. I gotta go into engineering. That is good. All right, so let's get our two new clips. Here's our clips right here. You got one that goes to the bottom. Let's see if we can get a good look at this. The sun is out here. That's all it does is go over it and push down. Then we go up to the top one. And that's like putting in dentures. <laughs> Pop that up. That is great. All right. The next thing we're going to do, guys, is called the 007. We'll be right back. All right. Now, our brake pads slide on these pins right here, on these clips. So what we're going to do, you got to put a little brake lubricant right here. Now, usually I would put, put some on my finger and put it right there. But a good friend of mine, friend of mine, Manic Mechanic 007, check him out in the comment section below. I'm sure he's gonna comment. He said, Tim, get you some Q-tips. So I'm me some Q-tips. Got my anti-seize, or you can use brake lubricant. And that way, you never get your hands dirty. Use that. Apply it to the pin, the clip right there. And to the clip on top. All right, let's get our new rotor slash drum, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, Fisher just dropped off our rotor slash drums. Let's just get this set on. Look at, look how, guys, look how perfect that setup on there. Perfect. All right, let's get our new caliper, which is right here. And what we're going to do is take our inboard pad, and it goes clips right into there just like that. Just like that. And our outboard goes on just like that. And it takes a little bit. There we go. Get it on there. Pop it right into place. 
and great. And make sure your slide pins are pushed back. And let's get ready to put this on. We'll be right back. All right, guys, before we put our caliper on, I want to show you something about these brake pads. You see on this brake pad up here, see how it's like that? And on the bottom half, it's like a grooved. You want to put that part in first and then swing it forward. So the bottom, the first part down here is gonna go on those clips just like that, bring it forward, but you gotta make sure at the same time that those pins are pushed back. Get this over. Get this thing over here. Get it over that rotor, go across. Make sure that our pins are pushed back and it's in the groove right there. There we go. And push the four up the top one in, and there you go, it's set right into place. Let's get our two 10 millimeter bolts. Whoops, dang it. One on the top. And I'm gonna drop this one down here. There it is. And one right here on the bottom. And let's put them in by a couple threads so we can make sure we don't cross thread them. And let's get our 10 millimeter so we can tighten them up. Be right back. All right, we got our big bill ratchet with our 10 millimeter 3 8 drive um, socket. Let's go ahead. Tighten it up. Now, tightening these up, guys, that's all you want to do is go till it stops and then a little bit more. Do not over torque, over torque these bolts. They're long and they can break very easily. So you're just going to tighten them and a little bit more. Watch this. Let's go down this one. Tighten that till it stops and just a little bit more. That is it. We are done on this side. Well, no, we're not. We gotta still gotta hook up the line first. <laughs> so let's get our bolt for the, the holes and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're at the back of the caliper right here. Forgot this little red piece right here. We gotta, that's part of the, the new caliper. We gotta take that out. Should have took that out before. What the heck was wrong with me? There we go. Now, we're gonna get our, our brake line. And it's gonna go just like that. And what we're gonna do here is get our bolt. We're gonna have the bolt with one of those gaskets up there. We're gonna get it on the line. Put it on the line just like that. Then, I'm gonna take that other gasket. It looks like a washer. Put it on the other side, just like that. And then we're gonna screw that right into the caliper. I'm gonna make sure that thing is going straight too and not crooked. All right. All right, let's get our socket and we'll be right back. All right, we've got a 14 millimeter socket, 3H drive, well, 3H drive ratchet. I'm gonna go ahead. Tighten this up. Dang it. We'll be right back. All right, we got it to the point. Now, tightening this up. This one, you got to squeeze a little bit. This one, you're going to go till it stops and you're going to turn it a little bit more because that, you're actually squeezing those uh, washers slash gaskets together. And you want to make sure that is tight. Now, 
Let's release our clamp. And then we're gonna move on to the other side. Be right back. All right guys, here we are on the driver's side now. First thing you wanna do, take your clamp. Crimp off that hose. That'll stop the brake fluid from leaking out. The next thing we're gonna do is take our 14. Let's make sure we get a good look on this right here. Okay, yep, there's our bolt right there. 14 millimeter. Got my 14 millimeter 3 8 drive socket, my 3 8 drive ratchet. Break that loose. Unbolt it. And remember, you're gonna have two gaskets slash washers. One on the inside where the bolt is, and the other one is stuck right there. Let's get that off. We can actually leave that on, but I want to show you it. We got that on right there. And next thing we're gonna do is get our big bill ratchet with our 10 millimeter socket on it. And we got the one, two bolts right there. Gonna go take those out. Okay, let's get those out and we'll be right back. All right guys, we got the two 10, 10 millimeter bolts out. I thought I had that out. Take them out. Get our pry bar from the top. Caliper off of there. Dang it, look at that thing was a mess. Set that down. And if this side is anything like the other side, we might as well go right ahead and get our big hand. Now, there is another way you can do this, guys. You can try to shock it loose and hit in the front. But the problem is, you don't want to take a chance at hitting the studs. Let's see if I can do this. Dang, pop that off too. Them off. There we go. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That one's loose. In fact, let me grab the camera here. Bonded stuff, man. Look at that. That one's loose. And that one's loose. So we're going to be doing. I'm going to see if I can get a screwdriver. And Yep, work my way, work it out. Pop that one off. And this is sad. That's all I did was put on a, a little bit of one, two spots. We're going to put a lot more than that. Let's go around here and work this one off just like that. <laughs> and then we're going to clean that up and get some more JB Weld. I'm going to show you how we do that from the get-go. All right, we'll be right back. All right, first thing we do, get our brake clean, get our pan up under there. We're gonna clean this. Dang it. Get some more here. Yeah. Clean all that brake dust out of there. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then, we're gonna take our brake pads. And I got them marked out right here. This is the back, this is the front, and both sides of the top. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here. Clean both of them up on the inside, let them dry out. All right, then we're gonna get our JB Weld. Be right back. All right, guys, we got our JB Weld here. Squeeze this out. Mix this up real good until it becomes like a, a clear. Yeah, yeah, I'm using a nail. All right, let's mix this up, and then we're gonna go over there and put it on one of the brake shoes. Be right back. Okay, we're gonna start off with the back pad. And let's see here. 
down. Main part is right there. And right there, where it's really holding on to. Yeah, we got that spread it out pretty much. Now, I'm gonna go up here. And we got a little time for this to actually hard up. And what we're gonna do is line up the hole where it's at on this one. And that one. Squeeze it together. And we gotta leave that there for about 10, 15 minutes. All right, let's get our front one on and we'll be right back. All right guys, it's been about 10 minutes, but while we're waiting, let's take off our two clips right here. Pop that one down. Pop that one up. Get our wire brush. Clean that all up. Get our brake clean. Clean them up. And where's our... Yeah, it'd be nice if I got the new clips. Let me go get the new clips, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we got our new clips. Let's pop these clips in place. Make sure they flush all the way down on the bracket. Okay, might want to take a little tap them in. Alright, let's get our Q-tip and do the 007. Pull it right there and a little right there. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we are ready. That thing, look at that, man. Look at that. You can't even move them. I like that, man. This is bad. Alright, let's get our new rotor. Slash drum. Set it on. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is pop our calip our brake shoes, brake pads, out of the old calipers. And on this outside one, you gotta do because it's got that little spring right there you gotta take the brake pad push it that way and then up just like that just like that and on the inboard one that just pops right out all right get our new one new caliper the inboard Sets in those a little hole right there. Push it in. Outboard one. Now your outboard one has little pins that stick up right up under there. And they will lock into them holes right there. So you gotta just go ahead and get those. Once you get one started, that's it. And then you push it down. Perfect. Now, let's get that caliper on. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, same as the other side. You got your two pads down here, got the little claw, like. So we wanna make sure our slide pins are back. Push the caliper down, get it lined up. On the bottom part first. It's so very important to make sure that slide is back. There we go, down like that. And now, move up, push this slide pin back, and it'll drop right into place. Get our two 10 millimeter bolts, put them in, start them off by a couple threads. Done. Let's get our 10 millimeter socket, 3H drive. And again, these do not over tighten these bolts. So I'm bringing both of them in till they stop. Now to tighten them up, that's all you gotta do till it stops and 
a little bit more. That's it. Do not over torque them. Perfect. All right, let's get our uh, bolt with the two washers slash gaskets and let's get that hooked up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're gonna put our brake line on. You got our bolt with the washer, gasket. It's gonna go like that. Then put this on the other side. And then we screw into the caliper if you remember to take out that red little plug. Like I forgot again. I figured I did it on one side. I figured I learned my lesson, but no. There we go. Now let's go up here. Start our bolt. Definitely want to make sure it's going in by hand. So that way you don't cross thread it. Then get our 14 millimeter socket, 3 8 drive, 3 8 drive ratchet, and tighten that up. Perfect. Release our clamp, and now we get ready to bleed the brakes. Be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to bleed it. Now, when you want to bleed brakes, you want to start from the furthest wheel away from the master. Why? I don't know. They say they do that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take off our little boot right here, our little cover. And we got something in the car. And the first thing we're going to do, I got a 10 millimeter wrench. And what I'm going to do here is loosen it up. And I'm going to, just to get some brake fluid down here, I'm going to have her step on the brake pedal and hold it down. All right. Uh, push down and hold it. Let it up. Push down. And here comes the fluid. All right, now that we got it out there. Okay, pump it up. Hold down. Oops. Pump it up. Hold down. See, and that's what you're looking for right there. A nice stream with no bubbles or nothing. And for added security, do it one more time. Pump it up. Hold down. Look at that, guys. Perfect. All right, let it go. All right, guys, now I'm going to spray this with some brake clean, get all this cleaned up, and we're going to move on to the other side. Bear right back. All right, here we are on the driver's side. Let's take off our boot here and we're gonna get ready we're gonna loosen that up make sure it's ready okay step on the floor and hold it okay cool fluid's already back here all right pump it up hold down pump it up Hold down. Perfect, guys. One more time. Pump it up. Hold down. Now, guys, this is another thing. I should have showed you on the other side. Should have showed you on the other side. Pump it up. Hold down. And while the person is holding down on the brakes, you want to go back there and make sure from your from the lines and all where the gaskets is, make sure that it's not leaking. Make sure there's no fluid back there whatsoever while they're holding down. So I'm going to go check the other side and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I just did it and it was perfect. No leaks nowhere. All right, next I'm going to just clean this up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, last you want to do is once you do that, you are going to be low in brake fluid. So you want to pop your cap off and you notice inside, come on, and you're slow and fluid. So take your brake fluid. Oh, by the way, now there's different kind of brake fluid, dot three, dot four. You want to look on your cap 
and of course it won't say it then you want to check in your user's manual okay yeah there it is right there use only dot three so you got dot three brake fluid let's put the fluid in And we are done. We'll be right back. All right, so today we had a 2003 Ford Explorer, Explorer, and this is the Eddie Bauer edition. All right, and it's two wheel drive. So uh, we showed you how to replace the rotors and the calipers, and we also showed you a, a real nice little treat in case treat. you- Treat, there's no treat. The heck, little, little trick, little trick. Little trick. Ah, it's too much little trick on how what to do if your parking brake shoes um, come apart what you can do and you don't have them available or, or and plus how much these these things are expensive these like, like 50, 50 bucks 60 bucks depending on where you go so if you guys have any comments or questions you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.